Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this koala applique. It's slightly bigger than the ones I've shown you previously. For the koala, our main colour will be a light grey. We'll also need a dark grey, black and white crochet cotton or wool. I like to use four ply crochet cotton. I find cotton gives you a crisper finish. You'll also need a crochet hook, scissors. I use sewing thread to stitch my appliques together. I use a darning needle to weave in my ends and a sewing needle to stitch them together. I do have links to the materials you'll need in the description below. Now I'm going to start with the head and my light grey. I make a magic loop and work 3 chain and 14 double crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two I start with three chain and I work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and then I work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. Now rows 3, 4 and 5 will work the same. We start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain and then we work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. and two double crochet into the following stitch and repeat that around one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two into the following stitch and then at the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain so that's rows three, four and five so I'll complete rows three, four and five and I'll be back and we'll start on the ears. Now that's up to row 5 finished, so the head's finished. Now I'm going to start with this ear here. So I join my white, the second stitch after my loop. I'll just pull that a bit looser so it doesn't come undone. And I start with two chain and work a half double crochet in the same place as the chain and then I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two half double crochet into the following stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches 
and two half double crochet into the following stitch and that's the first row of the year then we work two chain and turn and we work a decrease half double crochet over the first two stitches and then one half double crochet into each stitch until we get to the last two stitches Over the last two stitches we work a decrease half double crochet and then we work two chain and turn and we work a decrease half double crochet over the first two stitches and then we work a joined half double crochet over the next three stitches and then a decrease half double crochet over the last two stitches and that's the white of the year I'll fasten that off and now I start with my grey and I work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches just just find a good place to work so it doesn't show up too much around your ear sometimes it can be a bit hard to find a good place now we're going to work the little wavy pieces for each wave we work two double treble into one stitch and one double treble into the following stitch. So two double treble into one stitch and then a double treble into the following stitch and then into the next stitch we work two half double crochet and that's the first wave and then we repeat that we work two double treble And then one double treble into the next stitch and then two half double double crochet into the next And then we work one more wave of two double treble into one stitch A double treble in the following stitch and 
and then two half double crochet. Find another place that's showing a bit much. And then we work one double crochet into each stitch around the rest of the year. and slip stitch into the head and fasten off. And that's the first ear done. Now with this 17 stitches and join our white into the 18th stitch. And start with two chain and work a half double crochet into the same place. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two half double crochet into the following stitch. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two half double crochet into the next. And then two chain. And a decrease half double crochet over the first two stitches. And work one half double crochet into each stitch until we, we're at the last two. and a decrease half double crochet over the last two stitches. Then two chain and turn and we work one decrease half double crochet over the first two stitches, a joined half double crochet over the next three stitches and a decrease half double crochet over the last two. And fasten off.
Now, I'll just weave in my ends to make it a bit easier to do the outer ear. Now, for the outside of the second ear, we miss one stitch before the the white part and join up the stitch before. And then we work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Now we start the wavy parts, so we work two double treble into the next stitch. One double treble into the following stitch. And then two half double crochet into the next. For the next wavy piece we work two double treble into the next stitch One double treble into the following stitch. And two half double, double treble, double crochet into the following stitch. And for the last wavy piece we work two double treble into the next stitch. One double treble into the following stitch. And two half double crochet into the next. And now just continue around your ear with one double crochet into each stitch. And then slip stitch into the head. And fasten off. And there's the head and ears done. I'll start on the nose now. With my black I make a magic loop. And start with four chain. 
and work a treble into the circle. Then I work four double crochet three treble double crochet and one treble. Pull the circle tight. and slip stitch into the fourth chain. For row two we work two chain and work one half double crochet into the same place as the chain. And then we work two half double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll continue around the nose and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the second chain and fasten off. And that's the nose finished. For the inner eyes we make two. We start with a magic loop and one chain and we work eight single crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain and fasten off. For the outer eye, we start with a magic loop and two chain and we work Ten half double crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the second chain and fasten off. We we'll need two. For the white part of the tummy, we start with a magic loop and three chain and we work 14 double crochet into our circle
circular circle tight. And slip stitch into the third chain. For row two, we start with three chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain. And then we work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll finish this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row, we slip stitch into the third chain. Now rows three and four are work the same. We start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain. And then we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two double crochet in the following stitch. And we repeat that around. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch all the way round. And then we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. So I'll work row three and four and finish off the tummy piece and then I'll be back. And that's the four rows of the tummy part finished. I'll fasten that off. And now I'll start on the body part. It's in behind the tummy and the arms. I'm using the light grey. And I start with a magic loop and three chain. It's, it's made the same as the head. So we start with three chain and then we work 14 double crochet into the loop. And then pull our circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two we work three chain and one double crochet in the same place as the chain. And then two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll do this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. Now rows 3, 4 and 5 are work the same. We start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain and then we work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. and two double crochet into the following stitch and repeat that around one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two into the following stitch and then at the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain so that's rows three, four and five so I'll complete rows three, four and five and I'll be back and that's the body finished. For the arms we start with 30 chain
we miss the first four chain and then we work one treble into each of the next 14 chain. Next we work one double crochet into each of the next seven chain. And then one half double crochet into each of the next four chain. And then four half double crochet into the last chain. Now we work back into the back of the chain and we work one half double crochet into each of the next four. And then one double crochet into each of the next seven. And lastly, one treble into each of the remaining stitches.
Both arms will work the same. And we fasten off. Now I'll work the leg now. I start with eight chain. And I work four treble into the fifth chain from the hook. And then I work one half double crochet into each of the next two chain. And then three half double crochet into the last chain. And then I work into the back of the chain. I work one half double crochet into each of the next two. And then I slip stitch into the top there of the chain. For row two, I start with three chain and I work one double crochet into the same place as the chain. And then I work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet into the same place. And then we work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two into the following stitch. So I'll finish this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain and fasten off. And that's the leg finished. We'll need two legs. Now I'm going to start on the foot. So I've got my darker grey. I start with eight chain. And I work four treble into the fifth chain from the hook.
and then one half double crochet into each of the next two chain and three half double crochet into the last chain And then into the back of the chain we work one half double crochet into each of the next two chain. And join with a slip stitch into the top of the chain. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet into the same place as the chain and then we work 2 double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll finish this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain and fasten off. And that's the foot finished. We need two feet. For the paw pad I'm using black and I start with a magic loop and one chain and then I work eight single crochet into the circle I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. I'll need two of those. I'm going to work the claws now. So I've got black and I join just near the top of the, the arm I'm going to work a finger into each, into each of the four stitches round the top. For the first finger I work six chain and slip stitch into the same place and slip stitch into the next stitch and work six chain slip stitch into the next stitch and work six chain and then slip stitch into the same place and then slip stitch into the next stitch and work four chain and slip stitch into the same place and fasten off. The last little ones for the thumb and they'll just push in together. For the other arm it will be going the other way or bend it in the other way. So we start with the thumb so we join in and work four chain 
and slip stitch into the same place. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. And work six chain. Slip stitch into the same stitch. And slip stitch into the next stitch. And six chain again. Slip stitch into the same place and then slip stitch into the next stitch and work another six chain. And then slip stitch into the same stitch and fasten off. Now I'll weave in my endings and do another foot, leg, eyes and paw pad and I'll be back to put it together. Now the first thing I'm going to do is stitch the nose onto the head. It goes just about there. The bottom of the nose will touch the line, the second line in. I'll also stitch the black, the inner eyes onto the outer eyes and the paw pads, they go on the narrow end. So just in there. If you're not sure of the placement of anything, I do have my patterns with pictures on my website. So I'll stitch these on. I'll also stitch on a mouth while I've got black thread and I'll stitch on the claws. I'm just going to use the cotton, the black cotton that I use to crochet the nose. So I'll do those and I'll be back. Now all that sewing's done. Next I'm going to stitch my eyes on they just go in there like that I'll also stitch the tummy onto the body just in like that and I'll stitch the feet onto the legs they just fit in like that. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now I'm going to stitch my feet to the body. The edge of the feet goes just at the last, where the last row starts. So just in like that. So I'll stitch those on. Also I'll stitch the arms onto the head. I start them, leave a bit of a gap and the one with the thumb, the thumb points in and this thumb will point in this way. So I'll stitch them onto the head evenly and then I'll be back and we'll put join the head to the body. Now there's the head and arm stitch together and the body and the feet. Next we stitch the head to the body just in at the top. Um, the head just goes slightly onto the white but very little and we ease the arms around they go slightly onto the feet like that 
So I'll stitch that together and I'll be back to show you the finished koala. And there's the finished koala. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share to get notifications when a new video is up. If you click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.